Hey traders, Akil Stokes here, head trader at Trade Empowered, and welcome to another one of my weekend reviews. Usually I have a, a topic at hand that I want to discuss, but uh, to be honest with you guys, today I'm just going to wing it. Um, I just came back out from a workout. For you guys know, I used to be a pretty good football player, uh, ran track in college, and uh, I actually had a, a, a meet last week where I, I did pretty good. Check out, check out the picture over here. Yep, yep. Check out the guns, right? <laughs> but uh, just finished up the workout today and uh, you know got back and wanted to get this review out before it's too late. So it's dressed casual and just kind of winging it. Uh, I don't really have a true topic, but I do want to discuss, I guess, uh, some of the trades that I'm currently involved in. So let me bring over some of these charts. Uh, what do I mean? Euro dollar, Euro dollar, pound yen, Aussie dollar dollar swiss some of the pairs that i'm looking at and it's actually been a pretty a pretty active week for me i've been involved in about one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven about 12 trades this week now some some have rolled over from last week but uh a pretty busy week for me trading uh now a few of the pairs you guys know already let's take a look at euro dollar euro dollar we are coming off the bigger cipher pattern if you remember this from last week we were looking at an x to a a to B, B to C, C to D completion up here. We actually double topped, play, played around a little bit. Uh, and then we, we got a nice rally off the opening gap on Sunday. Uh, so we rallied off the gap on Sunday, retested that level, came back to hit target ones, which were at about 38.15. 38.15, so about 65 pips in there. And well, I'm waiting for target twos to hit. Uh, and what I actually did is, uh, well, before I get into that, during the week, if we go down to the 60 minute chart, uh, we talked about this in the war room a lot uh, in the syndicate, but we had a bunch of smaller patterns form here as well. I won't go through all of them, but we had a, we had a bat pattern. Uh, we had a, I think it was right here, we had a smaller cipher pattern form. So it was really interesting um, because we had a, a bunch of mini patterns and, and really new setups for traders that weren't currently involved in the bigger cipher uh, form within the bigger move. Now going back out to the 240 chart, my original targets or my original second targets were right here, right at the 618, so about 3761. But as we ebbed and flowed, and let's get rid of this, uh, this little deal here. As we ebbed and flowed down, we also uh, started to put in the start of a new pattern. So if we take my original C to D leg from the cipher pattern and we make this our new X to A, you're going to see that we come down right into the 50% retracement. And when I mean right into it, I mean right into it. Let's see. Boom. We just kiss it. What do we know about the 50% retracement? That's the first signal for a bat pattern. So again, this former C to D leg of our cipher is now going to be our X to A, A to B. We've come up to give us an, a valid C leg and a bat pattern completion will be right down here at 3,700. Now, very important, especially for the newer traders, just because we have an X to A, A to B, B to C, the first three or four legs of a bat pattern does not mean the pattern is going to complete. I repeat, does not mean the pattern is going to complete. So I have no idea if the market's going to rally down here, but as I look left, and we all know why we look left, look left, structure leaves clues, right? As I look left, there is just absolutely, and let me do this first. Let me, again, bring on my, my initial second targets. Initial second targets are right here at the 618. So with second targets being right here, as I look left, there is no type of recent structure in this area. I mean, our, our basically our impulse leg here, our C to D completion was a straight shot up instead of a little blip here that comes at the B leg. And this is the area that we did find some resistance at as we expected throughout the week. But if we break past this B leg, there is really no structure level down here until we get the 37 flats. There's a little bit looking left right here, but nothing recently. So instead of having my initial, my, uh, my second targets at 37.63, what I did was I rolled them down to 37 flat and I'm, and I'm going to trail, trail them down. I'm going to trail at, at structure down and see if I can get a much bigger reward off of this pattern than uh, what I initially thought. What's important though is remember target ones have already been hit. So the money is already in my pocket. Stops are already uh, moved to break even. So I cannot lose money. So I can afford 
to take this bigger risk. Because again, it's going like a gambler's mentality. Uh, personally, I'm a craps player. And uh, I have a strategy in craps that's very similar to my trading strategy, money management and all that stuff. But the important thing is craps is my first agenda is to get all the money that I bet back home in my little, you know, little deal thing they give you back home in my pocket, let's say. Once I have my initial bet back in my pocket, so if I throw out, you know, $50 down there on my initial bet, once I make my 50 back, then I can start getting risky and shooting for, you know, what I like to call the home run trade or the home run bet. But only after I've covered myself first. So that's Euro dollar. Uh, dollar Swiss was the same thing. And we all know Dollar Swiss is basically the inverted version of the Euro dollar. Just moves a little slower. Um, I haven't really done a lot of analysis here, so I don't know if we have a bat pattern. But right now I have target twos in my normal spot. Yeah, we're not going to have a bat pattern yet. So I'm, I'm still looking at normal target twos up here at 88.71. Uh, see if we can get a rally off that as well. Pound yen. Here's an interesting one. I actually took a pound yen trade. Uh, I was short, uh, long pound yen and short pound dollar yesterday at the same time. And one broke out, one didn't. But essentially, we had a simple pattern here. Again, let's delete this. We had a nice little flag pattern here. And uh, basically, we had a nice little impulse leg up, a straight shot up. And then the market just started consolidating. You know, we boom, boom, boom. We channeled back and forth, channeled back and forth. And what I'm waiting for is a breakout of this level. Now, I don't trade these simple patterns that much, but I like to combine them with my technical, my combined technical score system, my CTS system. So if we look left, if I draw a line right here at the bottom of this flag pattern, you probably already know you're, you're going to guess what comes in. If I look left, look where we're consolidating down to. Market breaks above, closes above, comes right back to previous structure uh, resistance originally, which was broken through and is now support. And what I did was I caught the trade uh, as close as I, can, I could to the bottom of this flag, and I'm playing for the breakout. You know, when you see a pattern like this, the, the probability is that we're going to break out to the high side. Um, you can add a little more to that when you see structure looking left. Uh, so it's a very low risk trade. I'm not risking much at all. Very small stops uh, and looking for the big reward. And we, we spent the uh, majority of the week in the live room talking about risk reward. And, you know, again, if you set yourself up with a consistent risk reward ratio, here's the secret. You don't have to be right that much that that uh, that that often. You don't have to be right that often if you consistently give yourself a good risk reward. Um, and we had one with if you go back and watch, uh, I think it was last week's video. We had a, a tr I had a trade like that on pound uh, pound dollar as well. Nice little flag pattern back in the structure. Very small stops, boom, shot up straight to the upside for a good, I think it was a 100 pip trade in total. And could have got a lot more out of it, but I, you know, I didn't. So that's pound yen. What else am I in? I'm, uh, we're waiting for a bat pattern on New Zealand. We broke this down in the live room today. Uh, we actually had, a, there was a nice little trade opportunity on here. We talked about going from the higher time frames down. Uh, not really going to go over that again with you guys here, but we do have a nice bat pattern potentially here. X to A, A to B, B to C, looking at a CD completion right down here at 8540. Uh, so that may get triggered tonight or we may just consolidate sideways since most of the banks are on holidays tomorrow. Uh, what else interesting we do we have? Uh, Euro, Euro, or not Euro, Aussie dollar. Aussie dollar, same thing, higher time frame, identifying a big kill zone, hence the big words that say kill zone, a nice little kill zone in here between higher time frame structure, <clears throat> excuse me, between higher time frame structure, also have a three drives pattern coming in this level as well, uh, a nice uh, psychological number, 93 even, so we're looking at that as well and looking for uh, an entry technique somewhere inside this kill zone, again, OODA loop theory, guys, IPDE staying one step ahead of the market at all times. I already know exactly what I'm looking for in this inside this zone. So if the market does come down here, I'm not, oh, what do I do? Oh, do I buy? Do I sell? Do I wait? Do I hold? Do I need this? Do I need that? Simple. We're, we're, we're one step ahead of the market. I already know what I need. I just got to see if the market gives it to me or not. If it does, I trade it. Boom, hit the button. If I don't, I stay away and wait for the next opportunity. It's that simple. Um, and that's about it. That's, uh, yeah, that's about it. And, and speaking of, uh, I guess I think I do have a clip from a syndicate video. Speaking of doing a top down analysis, I'm going to show you guys, I'll probably have to edit it a lot cause it was pretty long, but I'm going to share with you guys, uh, uh, portions of a clip I did for syndicate members kind of on the same type of, uh, 
uh, top down analysis, breaking down and, and really finding a level where to trade. So I hope you guys enjoy that and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. But bigger picture, we're still looking at a bat pattern. Now, I remember uh, if you've been with the syndicate for a while, we've been keeping this, or at least I've been keeping this on the radar for uh, a good couple months now. But we're looking at bigger time frame, X to A, swing high to swing low. Uh, you can see if I bring in my 50% retracement, boom, boom, boom. We're going to get a 50% retracement right in there for a B leg. Our C leg comes well uh, into our range of requirement for the C leg. And we're looking for a bat pattern completion at our 886 up here at 105.45. Another signal that the market should be continuing in that direction, or at least that's what we can expect. Now, again, drawing my 382 in here from swing low to swing high. Uh, you see 382 retracement right there. Even if you want to get fancy, and uh, I've got no time limit on this video, so I think I will. Come on, if I can find my, uh, there we go. Too many screens, guys. If I can find my fib tools. If we kind of isolate these Fibonacci's, we get our 382 right here. If I take one from right down here as well, you can see we're right at a 382 as well. I can bring in a 50%, which is going to line up at the, the lower end of that. And what I'm doing is basically creating kind of a Fibonacci cluster. If I bring one more from our most recent swing, boom. If I get rid of some of the junk in here, uh, it was 76. You see, no matter what swing I look at, we're getting a nice cluster of Fibonacci's in this zone between a 3D2, a 50%, and a 786. Again, look left, structure leaves clues. Not only do we have a structure level right there as well, but one right here as well. And again, when we looked back on uh, our chart, we hit these structure levels in the past back here. On the RSI, I had a little conversation with uh, one of our 12 week transformation members inside the trading floor about hidden divergence. And I'm not going to take the time to do a big thing on hidden divergence, but look at our previous low right here to this low. We have a higher low here on, uh, on price charts, yet we have a lower low here on the RSI. This is something called hidden divergence. And again, not going to take a whole time to go into a lesson on this, but just uh, I got the question about the psychology of this. He said, well, doesn't a lower low on the RSI? meaning, uh, you know, bear strength or, 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 you know, yeah, more bear strength in the market, essentially. And I said, well, you got to think about these, think about the RSI really in a, a psychological aspect where if this were, say, a, pri uh, a stock chart or something like that, oversold is basically meaning an, an undervalued stock or overbought is going to be a, a overvalued stock. And well, if you're an investor, you know, where are your best times you're looking to buy, right? If, if something's undervalued, um, it's at a bargain. You know, so psychologically, traders in the market or people that are investing are, if something's undervalued, they're getting a deal on it. So they may be rushing to get inside, vice versa. If something's overvalued, they may be looking to either get out of their positions or say, hey, we're going we're gonna to wait for some type of pullback. So uh, that's another cool way to think about it uh, and, and make the, the indicator more, uh, more about the psychological aspect of the market and not just a little squiggly line on your chart. Anyway, this is called hidden divergence. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, this was kind of an unstructured weekend review video, so I feel like it was somewhat educational. I'm, I'm pretty sure it always is, uh, <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Real quick, if you haven't signed up for the Turning Point Seminar coming in May, do so right away. Um, I'm so happy. I've been getting a lot of feedback on the, the video, the promo video we did for it, and I'm, I'm glad you guys involved uh, enjoyed it because uh, it got it was a more of a personal video than what you're used to, and it just came out fantastic. So uh, hats off to Jason for the editing and, and getting that done just how we visioned it. Until next time, guys, plan your trade, trade your plan, have a very happy Easter, and I'll see you guys in the market next week.